Hi, this is Jeff. I'm out in the front yard. I'm going to plant this bush for my wife. This little uh, cedar bush here. And uh, I want to show you the problem I've been running into in my yard. I've done this several times, but I've never made a video until now. But uh, let me show you what I got going on. This is the hole I've been digging to put this uh, cedar bush in. And I have this problem a lot. Now, I don't know if you can tell or if you can see this. Maybe I can get a close up out of this. There we go. That's a little better. This hole is deep, plenty deep already. And I don't know uh, what's going on, but I've only hit this hole about six times with my post hole diggers. I'll bring it back up here. Last time I dug a hole like this. There we go. Last time I dug a hole like this, I buried my post hole diggers. And I always use a post hole digger to dig these holes and then I round them out. I got past the red clay, and this is the rest of the stuff that I get. Loom and everything. <clears throat> very soft see all the uh, the uh, root and stuff in there so I'm not going to use this hole but uh, hey you know they haven't found Jimmy Hoffa yet either look at that buried it all the way up there with one little hit and I'm going to have to put all this dirt back and then I'm going to have a hole in the yard and I've got several of these places in my yard. Uh, little soft spots I can push on with my foot. Sometimes I step on them. And I know what's going on with them. I'm going to bury my post hole diggers in them. And that's not good. Look at that. Getting down to red clay again. Getting down through some hard stuff. Thank goodness. But you never know because it may go off to an angle. So far, I thought maybe it was gophers. But uh, I, don't know, I put gopher bait out. And I've also ran water in one of these holes like 20 minutes. And I never saw it come out anywhere. Sometimes when you do that flush a gopher out, you'll see a gopher or the water will come out of another hole. But that's not the case with me. And I just discovered these holes maybe a year ago. So I've just been kind of, you know, when I find one, I dig into it a little bit. So this is 10 feet from my other cedar bush. See if I can show you what I got here. I don't know if I can or not. We'll give it a try. There's the hole right there. And it's very deep. And that's the bottom of it right there. That's uh, probably four foot deep already. That'd be bad to stick a leg in that thing running across the yard. So I'm curious as to what might be down there or uh, maybe what it is. Why I have these holes and depressions in my yard. Hold on just a minute. All right. This is the little bush I'm planting for my wife. Putting it out in our yard. And it is a North Pole Thuja. Uh, Art Bow or whatever. Uh, R. It was like a Republican maybe. Uh, but uh, there's, there's the name right there. I'm not watching what I'm doing. Anyway, it's real pretty. When we, I'll show you. We've got several of them up through here. 
This one looks like it needs some water on it. And we plant these 10 feet apart. And then we put these uh, little bushes in between them. There's another one. And there's one there. What kind is this? Let's see. If I can get the tag. Flaming Caladium, the Caladium. So they're coming along real nice. And we planted this one right here with our garden. We got a little flower garden here with uh, with uh, day lilies, and we got a butterfly bush or two. And the butterflies just love them. And we also have uh, some little squash plants there. But I want to show you. The problem I'm having, <clears throat> and maybe some of you guard yard people can help me figure it out. I'm gonna put this on the uh, tripod and point it down there so you can see. Maybe you can tell me what's going on. I'll be back. See, I've got another depression right here. And it's very, very soft, as you can see. And it's Gosh, I can just put my, where my foot went. There it is. There we go. It's very, see there? So I don't know what it is. There's another one there. Well, I got a, I got several in the front yard. I got several down there in the lower part. And uh, just trying to figure it all out. So if I find something or if you know something, let me know. You can send me an email at jordanjeffrey99 at gmail.com. And uh, let me know what you think. I'll take any comments uh, and appreciate uh, any comments that I get. Thank you very much. I'm taking my family to the North Carolina State Aquarium. And I'm excited. Well, I'm also a little disappointed that they didn't have any more parking than they do. The only other place to park 